We explain the 1943 World Series. 1943 was a year that continued to show the struggle of African Americans to gain equality and acceptance in a racially divided society. Despite America being at war to eliminate racial hatred and inequality in the rest of the world, for example, Hugh Molzak, who took his crew out on the USS Booker T. Washington as the first African American merchant marine captain, was also made to wait outside the waiting area of a Richmond, Virginia Greyhound station at midnight because he was black. And despite boxing for the troops to keep up morale, Joe Lewis was detained for miswearing his uniform. Much like the zoot suit riots in LA and the Hispanic community, deadly race riots broke out in Detroit, Beaumont, and Harlem over housing, employment, and policing issues in the African American community. There was positive news as Thurgood Marshall fought school segregation in Hilburn, New York. Core founder James Farmer staged a sit-in in Chicago. Porgy and Bess was on stage in Nazi-occupied Copenhagen. Stormy Weather with Lena Horne was in movies. Charles Drew created blood storage, and the Tuskegee Airmen fought in Italy. In the midst of all this news and change, the Negro National League Homestead Grays went up against the Negro American League Birmingham Barons in the Negro League World Series of 43. Candy Jim Taylor's Grays came off a 97 to 25 season, and depending on the records, Josh Gibson hit a 503, had 10 to 22 home runs, six triples, 21 to 33 doubles. They also had the strong bats of Buck Leonard, Jerry Benjamin, Howard Easterling, Judd Wilson, and Sammy Bankhead. On the other side of the diamond was Wingfield Welch's Negro American League champions, the Barons. They defeated the Chicago Giants to win the pennant. They were a pitching team with Grady Lefty McGinnis, Andy Gibson, who'd had 20 strikeouts in one game, and John Huber. The World Series came after the traditional, highly attended East-West game, in which pitchers like Satchel Paige and McGinnis and Theo Oak Smith and Porter Moss took down the East batters. People like Buck Leonard and Josh Gibson, two to one. Gibson had a massive health scare in '43 as he was hospitalized for a breakdown in January, followed by a coma that was diagnosed as a brain tumor. The series would also be marked by controversy. The Barons had brought in Double Duty Radcliffe, manager of the Chicago Giants, to fill in for injuries, among other players. Even though the Grays had said they agreed to it, writers like Wendell Smith called for the league to create a commissioner to regulate the loose rules. Another controversy came under a promised and canceled game in New Orleans. <laughs>